Welcome back, guys. Uh, part two. Part two. If I can get the damn camera. Come on, stay up. You guys can see that, right? I think you can. Hopefully. Yeah, hold on. Let me let me set this up. All right. So the only thing is missed was I uh, saved the game again. Oh, shadow people, huh? I hear them though, so I'm guessing they're gonna be through that door. Uh, and I'd be correct, they are through that door. We're actually gonna use a melee weapon here. I hate how this game sometimes like fakes people out thinking, thinking that there's gonna be shadow people and then there's no shadow people. Empty, nothing. Yeah, this whole thing freaks me out. It's creepy. I'm actually gonna move the camera around a little bit here. Like see if I can that's perfect. <laughs> and we'll use the melee weapon. just now because I knew that Emily was right there and she spawns pretty front of you. Oh no, it's doing that weird glitch for it. I hate that. Sometimes the shadow people will run into walls and won't be able to move. Aggravates me. No, since shadow people level, I won't always run through a door because that's not smart because sometimes you'll end up running right into a shadow person. We gotta pick up this metal that's over here. Get a little extra money. Because why not? Okay, so this game is very creepy and dark, as you can tell. Nothing in that container, unfortunately. Something in that container, though. It's always best to pick up these ammos for these for these guns, cause the pistol might not have um, might might have unlimited ammo, but 
your shotgun and machine gun, when you later get those, will not have unlimited ammo in them. Unless you find, like, the special shotgun at those. These things are easy to kill. They move, they move really slow, so... They're easy to kill because of how slow they move. If they spawn right in front of you, then you might be a little screwed because then you're going to have to, like, use a melee weapon, but... As you can see, I used a melee weapon earlier, and it's not a bad thing to use. things that's blocked so we have to turn around and go this way again don't want to run through these doors when they're shadow people nothing through here oh shit I heard I heard one of them or where is he where is it? Oh shit, it's getting a little close. Hold on. When you're in the shadow level, it's best to like look around for other items because you will find items you're gonna need. Yeah, this woman over here is kind of stupid. Sorry if you guys can't fully see the screen. I apologize. Like I said, I record in the quality I'm recording. Yeah, you creepy bitch. I see you right there. Yark, will you aim at the bitch? Thank you. I don't think there's anything for you to pick up through there, so we're just going to continue through this way. Jesus Christ, it's creepy in here. Coffee, like I said, helps you with your sleep. This always creeps me out. There's nothing even there. Except that. So we gotta go this way. And yes, we do. trying to grab me creepy game like I said but it's still one of my most favorite survivor horror games best thing is a lot of times in the shadow levels you will have to deal with the raincoat killer chasing you but in this one you don't have to deal with them this time so that's good you don't have to deal with that evil fucker I'm good Uh, we can change our suit here. We can also save. We're going to save real quick.
I was not done cleaning it. Well, we don't need to, to change our sewer right now. We're not gonna sleep. We'll do that later. When we need to. Just imagine what everybody else is seeing while York is dealing with this. Just, just picture that. Melee knife, always nice to have. Lollipop again, nice to have these. And yes, we're gonna want this. Med kits are nice to have. Closer to the exit. Now, some of these shadow people used to be like regular people, and then they got affected with, with the red seed that turned them into this. The red seed that York was holding before. Now, yes, that's a spoiler, but a major spoiler. A little bit of a spoiler. So anytime the raincoat killer comes by, or they're investigating a murder, these things will come out of nowhere to try to kill York. Buddy, what are you doing? And yes, you can absorb this. A smash wheelchair. I think I see the murder hose. Are she gonna use the melee weapon here to actually bust these crates? Following the blood trail. <laughs> well, okay. She's a little close, but I can get her back up. Two easy things actually get in the back up. Oh god! Back up. Whew, that was close. Yes. That was close. She almost got me there. On the reload. Look at that. Something in there. It's always best to check these. You got bait worm uh, for fishing. Because you can actually find nice things in the like water for fishing. Yes, we do have to go this way. Alright, that's what I thought. Oh yeah, 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 we need to uh, we need to get the thing. So we got to go the other direction. This way first to get the item we need, which is through this door. Small med kit. 
As you guys can see, this level like drags on. Wait a minute, I think we do have to deal with the raincoat killer in this room. See guys, I'm not always correct about things. And this is where we're gonna save. It's always best to save as many times as you can. Again, another med kit. Nice to find. Oh no, we don't have to deal with the raincoat killer. We just need to grab that thing. Unlock this door. Who is we are almost done with this creep hole. This place is creepy. Seriously. Yeah, we're about to deal with more shadow people, except this time. They are about to have shotguns, and we have to kill them to unlock the door. Because now, and yes, these things can carry guns. And yeah, they are highly dangerous. Best thing is, though, they can't grab you. Oh, God! Okay, alright, time to use health pack. No, 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 don't reload your damn it! Oh, come on! I'm good. Damn it! Come on! Fuck! Got him. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah, shotgun bullets we're gonna need for later. I actually almost died because I forgot the enemies actually spawn that close to you. I'm almost dead now. Oh, that was good. Okay. I believe it does. I believe sleeping restored your health, though. Don't correct me on that one. Like I said, I love this game, but I just don't know everything about it. Back into the normal world. Your eyes focused on your footing as we speak. 
so says Mr. Stewart. Nice to meet you, too. How did you know my name? Mr. Francis York. That would have been da bad if I died this early in the playthrough. This is only episode three. It's all gibberish. Emily here. Hey, Emily. Hey, Emily. Hey, Emily. Hey, Emily. Hey, Emily. And it looks like no, it did not heal our thing, but I believe food, uh, well, correct me if I'm wrong, I want to see if it does, if it does eating. And unfortunately, we are still hurt. But we're going to go ahead and save over here why we are injured. We're injured pretty badly. Like, those those shadow people with the shotguns really messed me up. Those things are strong. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Peace.